today I will be doing my haul video. I am so bloody excited. Um, I will be showing you guys all the shit that I bought from Malaysia, Singapore and Indonesia. I have a few things from Zara, from Uniqlo, from CDG, from Dover Street Market. Grab yourself some food or a drink because this video is going to be a long one. I'm going to start off with the things that I bought from Uniqlo. I don't think this collection is available in Australia. So it's the Aerism collection and it's basically like heat tech but the opposite version. So it's for summer, for hot days. Um, basically the material is super like thin and super cool as well. So for us hijabis or just any modest wearer, sometimes you have like a sheer top and you need to wear something underneath. These are perfect because because they're so bloody thin and they're just so easy to throw on underneath your top. I got a bunch of different colors and types because I knew that I wasn't able to get them in Australia. So I got the black long sleeve with the crew neck which is essential. I also got the top color and then I got the Hana Tajima line which I don't know if you guys are familiar with her she has been collaborating with Uniqlo for quite a while now and her collection is available in Australia however I have never seen her Aerism collection and what's cool about her collection in the Aerism collection is she creates these really high neck tops to wear underneath your tops because most of the time us hijabis have that struggle of oh you know the top is too like low and it's really hard to cover it with our scarf all the time so this is great so i bought this in cream i bought it in nude i bought it in black and i think that's it i of course got heat tech my fave i already have the gray heat techs and i literally use them to absolute death i realized one is not enough i need more so i got the leggings because i love the leggings now, there are actually two types of heat tech. There's a the regular heat tech and there's the extra warm heat tech. And that one is good, but it's just a little bit more thicker. So I find that when it comes to layering, I prefer this this heat tech, which is just the regular line, um, because it's a little bit thinner. So it's just easier to layer. That way your clothes aren't too bulky. So I got the black leggings. I use this for home. I use this for underneath my jeans, underneath my pants when it's super cold in Melbourne. These are so bloody comfortable. I literally... I love these. I love these a lot. And then I got two of the black turtlenecks because I'm definitely going to be using this a lot. So I got those. I ended up getting these for cheaper because of the Malaysian currency. I'm always on the hunt for shoes because I'm so picky. Every time I find a good brand that I really, really like for shoes that are affordable and they're comfortable, I buy as many pairs as I can. Every time I travel to Indonesia, I always buy Charles and Keith because they are so affordable. These are like 50 bucks and the quality is... It's reasonable. I mean, the price suits the quality and they are comfortable, which is my main priority. These I really like because they look like the Celine ones. Um, they are a tan color. And then I got the black pair, which I've been using a lot, as you can see. And yeah, they're just really easy. I mean, you always need a pair of black flats. So I was like, yeah, why not? I'll, I'll get them. And then the last pair that I got came with this little dust bag which I thought was so cute. I did have to pay for it though but it's okay. It will come in use when I travel so. I got this pair which is a pair of like mustard sling bags and I love sling bags. I love pointy shoes you guys know that and I wanted a bold color. I was actually looking for this color so I was really happy when I found it. I think that it would be a nice pop of color to your outfits you know add something different to it. Um, for the summer season, spring summer season. And I like the um, silver hardware over there. It makes it look a little bit more expensive. So these were, I think, $40. So they were slightly more cheaper. And um, yeah, I really like them. Going with the whole accessories thing, I will show you what I got from Dover Street Market. Yes, I did get this bag. Basically, it's the Comme des Garçons um, tote bag. I don't really know the name of it. If you watched my Singapore vlog, you would have seen me contemplating on getting this and I did purchase it. This is my first designer purchase. I know this is not like, you know, it's not super expensive. This was like around $500. Um, so it's not like a super expensive piece compared to other designers. But for me, it's my first time spending that much money on a bag um, and I bought it myself. So I was very proud of myself. I am actually selling this. I know it's so weird because I'm a sentimental person. I wouldn't usually sell something like this. I wasn't intending on keeping it for a while. I just needed a bag to use over there. Then I was like, when I come back, I'm going to sell it because it's not really something that I can actually use. Like for me, I'm not a big fan of tote 
tote bags. I like, you know, crossbody bags, small ones. So it's just not something that I wear and it's not big enough to carry to uni. I carry a lot of shit to uni so I can really never wear it. And instead I'm going to use the money for another designer purchase. It was almost like an impulse buy as well. But the good thing with luxury items that Usually you can impulse shop but still you know resell it, still get your money back. The inside is not lined, it's just raw and it's made 100% cowhide leather. So that's what it's made out of. I thought it would be Saffiano um, because it feels like a Saffiano, like the same kind that you would see at Michael Kors and Prada, um, which is very durable. But um, it's not, it's cowhide. So yeah, I think this is seasonal if I'm not mistaken. I did like it when I used it um, in my travels, but it's not something like with the money, I'd rather buy something else that I'll actually use a lot. Stay tuned to see what that would be. And if you saw my Singapore vlog, you would have seen how excited I was to go to Dome Street Market. It was so beautiful. If you are ever in Singapore, I 100% recommend it. If you haven't seen my Singapore vlog, I'll put the card up there so you can check it out. The stock there is amazing. Like. You're not going to get the same stock here in Australia. The main brand over there is CDG. So if you are a CDG fanatic, go there. It is your dream come true. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the bag. This is the bag. And the second thing I got from DSM is Converse Play. This was so long overdue. Like I have been wanting these probably like three years ago. Yeah, three years ago. That is when I wanted them, but I never got around to getting them because they were always out of stock. Finally got my hands on it but this is actually not the one that I originally wanted I wanted the original cream ones um, but I got instead I did get the polka dot ones and the reason why I got the polka dot ones as well I decided to get these is because I like how the heart is small whereas the new cream and black ones the heart is like half it's like the huge hearts the small ones is reminiscent of the original play converse so that's why I decided to get these and I think they are a bit fun as well. I'm not really a polka dot person, but I thought this was kind of cute. But yeah, I really love them. I think they're a nice statement piece. I was in Club 21 in Singapore, in Malaysia and I was going to get the black one, but I figured no. I might get the original Converse in black, not the comps, just like the original Converse, the 70s, I think. Anyway, so that's what I got from DSM. When I was in Menard, I actually bumped into the store Kami which is an Indonesian brand and I was familiar with them before I went to um, Medan. Yeah, I was really excited to see that because I did not expect to see their store in Medan and I've always wanted to see their clothing in person but basically they just have really cool prints. They're known for their really interesting prints. The first top that I got is this just a simple um, blue, baby blue, like kind of button up office shirt but it's a little bit more casual because of like the hem. It's like this A-line hem. It's just really you know simple really easy this one was like $45 which I thought you know that was fine it was like Zara prices um, and I really like it I've been using it a lot and then the next top that I got is basically the same style as that one but just in a different material and print so it's like this chiffon thick chiffon material and I thought this print was just very interesting like this is something that I'd see on like Fresh Prince of Bel-Air like it's just like one of those 90s kind of prints and I thought it was kind of interesting to style so I picked this up too and I think it was the same price so that's what I got from Kami. Last and final brand is of course Zara. This is where I bought the most stuff. I will get started with the pants. You guys know how much I love pants. The first pair that I got are these cigarette style um, trousers. I think they're cigarette style. I want to say they are because they're not straight but they're not too much of a peg Actually, there might be a peg style. But it's either a peg or a cigarette style. You guys tell me. You guys be the judge. But I really like the print. It's the houndstooth checkered print that's really in at the moment. And to be honest, I'm not a big fan of houndstooth. Um, I figured that I could style this in a way that suits me. Why I liked it is because of the shape of the pants. I like the, where it stops and I like how there's a little slit on the side it's just so comfortable to wear i wore this like non-stop in indonesia they're really really comfortable and the material is awesome and yeah everything that i buy is for uni so like legit all the clothes that i buy all the shoes everything i always ask myself can i use this for uni because 
that should be my priority because I'm in uni like most days of the week so it wouldn't make sense for me to buy clothes for that. This was 65 I think. Next pair of trousers are just plain black ones and these are a different style. These are more of like a straight leg and I have like literally eight black pants but I thought why not add another one to the collection. It's like it's straight but it's still kind of gets a little bit more skinnier as you get to the calf so i like them and they're really comfortable they're a little bit stretchy and these were 50 i think around 50. you guys would be so proud of me for the next piece that i bought finally a pair of black jeans never in my entire 19 years of living have i owned a pair of black jeans i don't know why Actually, I don't know why. It's because I don't like jeans. I never liked jeans. I thought they were very uncomfortable. And they are slightly, obviously, compared to trousers um, or pants. And the reason why it's also taken me so long, like, I did start using jeans, if you saw my mum's blue jeans that I wore a lot, the cut-up ones. Um, so I have been starting to wear denim now. Last year, I decided, okay, I want to look for the perfect pair of black jeans. And you guys know I'm very picky. So I finally found them. I wanted ones that perfectly fit my height. I wanted it to cut off right at the ankle so these were perfect and they were a raw hem and they were comfortable and they were affordable as well so it fit my criteria perfectly part of the zara basic collection they have the raw cut so it's just this style i haven't seen them in melbourne yet but definitely check out your nearest zara they might have them these were only like 50 dollars, which i thought was amazing because you know you wear black jeans all the time and with Zara jeans, I've only had good experience with them, so they they last pretty well, even if you wash them like a thousand times. And then the last pair of trousers that I got from Zara are these knitwear trousers, and it's got like um, all these little buttons on the side, which I thought was kind of interesting. And you know, just a little detail to add to your outfit. I think these are navy blue. Like, don't they look navy blue to you guys? See? They're like a really, really dark navy blue, like almost black. And I got these because they're so comfortable. It feels like you're wearing pajama pants because it's literally knitwear. It is very heavy, but it's very comfortable. It's kind of a crop style and yeah, these are perfect. These are a little bit more pricey. They were like $70, but I thought that was fine because it is knitwear. Now onto the tops that I got from Zara. So the first top is a super duper soft um, sweater and it's like a sweater top it's like a loose one it's got like this cute lace on the bottom and this usually isn't my style but my mom actually picked it up for me and i tried it on and i was like hey this could actually be you know an easy piece that i could throw on for uni you know just a class really casual really simple throw on some black jeans and some converse and i'm out the door i think this one was like 35 dollars it was pretty affordable so i got this in the sale so i really like that and the next piece that i got is this black top and it's like this mix of like this material this ribbed knit material with a you know just a cotton kind of shirt material and i already have something similar i don't know if you guys remember but i have one exactly like this except the sleeves are pinstripes they're blue and white pinstripes and i use that to absolute death i love that top i just think it's like a really cool and unique piece the other one kind of reminds me of balenciaga i think with the pinstripes but this one kind of reminds me of dior because from their, what was it, their fall winter collection 2017. It was the one with um, like kind of like the fencing outfits and I think that's when Maria made her debut in Dior. I think so. So easy to style, you can wear jeans with it to make it more casual, you can wear trousers to make it more dressy. Um, it's just a really easy top and it's a very me top because it's like kind of sophisticated but it's comfortable. So it ticks all my boxes. And this one was around like 65-ish and it wasn't in the sale as well. Next piece that I got is something that I'm really excited about. It's this grey long coat and I've been looking for the perfect light grey coat but not too much of a blue tone and not too much of a yellow tone and not too long and not too short like i'm very very specific and i'm very picky when it comes to basically everything but my point is i just have been looking for this for such a long time and i'm so glad i finally found it this kind of stitching on the side it kind of ties it in the fabric so it kind of cinches it cinches your waist in when you wear it so it's very flattering um, and that way it doesn't drown you because it is a very long coat and the sleeves aren't super long which is perfect for me and it was also on sale this was originally 230 and it went down to 170 which 
is a steal in my book anything below 200 is a steal for a coat so I'm really excited about that I'm so excited to style it for you guys the last piece that I got is this trench coat this is a olive green kind of um, long trench coat it's a little bit oversized as well this is an extra small and it's still kind of oversized so I think that's the style of it the arms are really baggy it's just a really comfortable piece and really easy layering piece you can dress this up dress this down I'll be doing a video on how to style this item so look out for that um, and I really like the color of it it's like I've been looking for an olive trench coat so I'm really happy with this I think this one came down to $80 and it was originally like 160 170 so it was almost half price which is an amazing deal and I forgot about one piece so this is a bag that I purchased from Zara and it's just like a crossbody burgundy bag I bought this because I completely forgot to pack my bag so I needed something to hold my stuff so I was like you know what I'll just go to Zara and I found this and it was perfect because you know it doesn't look it doesn't look too cheap it's only like $45 and I like how it's got like this short strap and a long strap and I also like how it's burgundy so I thought that'd be nice I don't usually buy bags because with me I'd rather just invest in bags that I really really want like luxury bags so I don't usually buy like bags like this but I thought you know what um I really need one so yeah I went ahead and purchased it and I actually really liked it I ended up using it a lot um it's just a really easy piece I don't really have to worry about it because you know it's not very expensive so yeah it's just you know a casual bag to wear so that is everything that i got uh in malaysia singapore and indonesia um i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm sorry if it was so long but i had a lot of shit that i bought i will be doing a ton more fashion styling videos on a lot of these clothing pieces so definitely make sure you're subscribed and that you have clicked the notification bell so you don't miss any more future videos of mine thank you always for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye do 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 do, do.